Hi there, it's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Welcome to our annual catalog kickoff party where we will be showcasing um, just a few of the beautiful bundles and suites from the brand new catalog. Um, so today's video is all about the Lovely You bundle. And it's this gorgeous stamp set with uh, mixed fonts, which are, are my favorite, plus really pretty images, which doesn't happen a lot. Sometimes it's really pretty uh, sentiments and you have to look elsewhere for your images, but this has it all. And um, it's the cling set, so you get to see exactly what uh, you know what you're using, and it's it's so much easier for placement. Um, with this bundle, you can you can purchase the stamp set separately. It's called the Lovely You stamp set. But if you purchase um, the stamp set and the punch, which this is called the uh, Lovely Labels Pick a Punch, and the reason they it's called a Pick a Punch is you actually have six options with these two uh, tabs here. And it will, both of them will fit either a one inch, three quarter inch, or one half inch uh, tag, uh, tag that you would just trim to your desired um, measurements and you would send it through. So you have three choices here. And you can see here, this one has a little bit of a squared off um, top to it. This is a little bit, uh, a little bit fancier, I guess you could say, um, with a more of a scalloped edge to it. Um, you'll see in some of my projects, but I do like to use both. I like to use this as my bigger image and then this one down as my, um, at the, where I actually stamp the sentiment. So you can find this bundle on page, this is the brand new catalog. And this actually here is, uh, this is a beginner brochure catalog. And this is really great too. And this is the, only the second time that uh, Stampin' Up! has been, um, has done this, but it's called a beginner brochure. And all that means is it's just not as overwhelming as the brand new catalog. So if you are a new stamper, um, this is the perfect place to start. And in this catalog here, it has, it, it, it has uh, links for videos. It explains more about the actual stamps and the difference between the stamps. Um, there are, uh, pre-printed cards that you can get uh, just to make it easier because you want your your first experience to be a good one and you want to be able to keep coming back so this is a very simple but beautiful stamp set there's a few of them in here that are so cute and um, perfect way to start so these are also good for people that um, just like simple stamping. You don't have to be a new stamper. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people I know, I usually get a few of these uh, stamp sets also. So it's, it's really cute. It's something to think about. Hopefully um, you got one when I, when I sent you your catalog, or if you do want, would like one of these, just, just email me, contact me somehow. Um, okay. So as I was saying, this was on page 22 of the, the bundle is on page 22 <clears throat> of the new catalog. And as with all of our bundles, um, if you purchase both of them as a bundle, the, the punch and the stamp set, you, you'll you always get a 10% discount. You can pur purchase them separately, that would be fine too, but it's much um, more advantageous to take advantage of the 10% discount. So that's what we're gonna be working on uh, for this video, the lovely you. Let me show you, this is the one that, um, this is the actual uh, card that we will be doing today. And um, this was from, uh, this is the one of the sentiments right here. Love is what makes us a family, beautiful. And I used for the, um, for the DSP, and this is one of those cards, which often I show you, <clears throat> that have, um, the DSP does all the work for you. And this um, DSP is from a pack called The Flowers for Every Season. And it's six by six, you get 48 sheets. And the really cool thing about this is, I have all my scraps in here, um, each one of these prints match our brand new in colors. 
and you know that the in colors um, hang around for two years. So, uh, you know, we, we just got rid of our 2018 to 2020 in colors, and now these beautiful ones came in also. We'll be using a few of them um, for this video, uh, for, for the next few videos uh, with the catalog kickoff. So that's the print that I used for here. And um, so let's just get started. It's really super simple. Okay, oh, first I wanted to show you a few other projects I had made with this stamp set. And this one is done with um, the Cinnamon Cider, a brand new in color called Cinnamon Cider. And uh, we'll, I think I have another project that I'll use that color on. I don't know which is my favorite. There are so many of them. It's just so pretty. And when you, with the in colors, you're always, you always have the availability to purchase the, um, all of the inks. So let me just show you the five inks that we have. We're going to be working today with this color here. It's called Misty Moonlight, and that's one of our in color, our brand new in colors. Another one we have is Bumblebee, very popular. Just Jade, this is another one. I can't decide which one I like best. Um, it's a beautiful, soft color green. And the Magenta Madness, which is a little bit of, little bit of boldness to add to it. And then the other one was um, that, the Cinnamon Cider, which, we can, which we'll be seeing later. Um, so all I did here was I used, again, a, pa um, a piece of the Cinnamon Cider print from my pack here, my uh, Flowers for Every Season that's called. And um, I used that here. I just randomly stamped this little uh, floral image, top <clears throat> bud image, um, in the, in the uh, cinnamon cider. And uh, we, for each of the ribbons, uh, excuse me, for each of the stamp sets, there is a coordinating ribbon that goes with that, coordinating cardstock, and actually even here we have a coordinating enamel dot. So it's, it's the color family of the new in colors is just fantastic. You're, you're just gonna love it. So, and all I did here was I used a large um, for, this, for the, I used this, the, the uh, flatter one for the tag, and I did use that for both sides here, you can see. And you can make them as short or as long as you want. You know, you just add your sentiment in first and then see where it lands. Okay, so that was one. This one here, another very simple card. I just used a whole bunch of different colors. Um, that I used, this is the Bumblebee, the new, the brand new color Bumblebee. I used the sentiment from this um, set here, Wildly Grateful. And I just randomly stamped on a piece of um, four by five and a quarter Whisper White. And then when I was done stamping, I used one of the tags. Um, I believe this tag was from the uh, uh, Tasteful Touches um, uh, Suite, uh, In Good Taste Suite. So I'll have to check on that. I'm not positive. But, and I just um, popped that out and then popped it right back on uh, with dimensionals. And you get to see a little bit of that green, the old olive in the bottom, on the bottom there. This one was super simple. I mean, I just stamped some flowers. Uh, some of the, I tried to use, you know, as many as I could of the images, lots of different colors, but um, settled it all down with some black and um, black cardstock for the border, for the uh, matting piece, and then also for my tag here. And you can see here that I used the flat side for the black piece and then the more of a scallop side for my, uh, for my sentiment piece. So those are my, um, my extra cards. I might be doing a class on that next month, we'll see. All right, so let's get going here. This is, um, like I said, we're, we used the Misty Moonlight and so this is um, just a regular piece of uh, 11 by four and a quarter that was cut. And then what I did was, and then I always scored at four and a half. And then I just cut off three inches right here from the side uh, of that. And this is going to act as our flap when we put it this way, okay? So really simple. When I'm putting it in, when I always use um, cardstock for my base, I usually, I would say 90% of the time, I use the thick 
uh, Whisper White cardstock, but um, from my card base. But sometimes when I want to have the base as a color, I um, always want to beef it up a little bit. So uh, it, it's just a little too flimsy for me. I, I like it to be a little bit more sturdy. So what I would do is, um, in this case, I cut a piece of the thick Whisper White. You can hear that, that it's thicker. And I'm just gonna put that on there first, okay? So I'm using my snail adhesive, which I'm using up whatever I have left before I get into the new uh, stamp and seal adhesive that is in the brand new catalog. And um, honestly, I forgot to put that on my, on my first order. So I'm waiting for that. I, I'm expecting an order either today, I mean a delivery either today or tomorrow. So we're gonna leave that right on there, okay? Then, I'll, and I'll have all the dimensions uh, listed below, so you won't have to worry about that. It'll be all in the description. All right, so I'm going to, so I'm still using my snail. I have loads of it, and it worked just fine for me. Um, the new stuff is supposed to be really good, and even maybe, take the place of liquid glue or um, tear and tape. And you all know how I love tear and tape, especially for all of the um, 3D projects or anything that has a little bit more depth to it. You just don't wanna take a chance that it's gonna come across, um, come off after you work so hard on it. Okay, so I'm just layering these pieces onto my, um, onto my, my cardstock. Okay, so let's do some stamping. Here I put, love is what makes us a family. So this is so much easier to check to see. Uh, you're not, oh, I just dropped something. Um, you're not having to figure out reading backwards and all that other stuff. So I love, as soon as I get my cling stamps, I go ahead and put the labels on them. And then I know that it's, um, they're staying, they're not going anywhere. Okay, so since I just put that on, and sometimes when you do put your label on your stamp and, um, and then you adhere it, yes, it does adhere very well, but it might not be exactly in line with the actual stamp. This is just to give you an idea. So when I'm doing that, I always take some scrap and just see if I'm, that's pretty good. I can tell that I'm, I'm pretty level with that one. All right, so I'm gonna add that here to my little tag and just put that right in the middle. Excuse my head if it gets in the way. All right, and what I do with my, um, my stamped images before I put them onto my chamois which uh, I just get a little, the most of the ink off of it, and it just kind of helps with the chamois. But you should always have your chamois in close reach, and this thing is great. It just cleans it off, keeps it nice and clean and um, ready for next time, and this holds water great. And at the end of the day, I just put it in a little Rubbermaid with um, soapy water, and it comes out great. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use the, the, um, the, the scalloped edge, the thinner edge, and this is, a, this is one inch, so I know it's gonna go right in here. So I'm gonna open up my punch, send it through, and I usually send it right here, right to the edge. Unless if, I, you'll see how I do that. I might do that a little, a little differently because I wanna make sure I'm not gonna um, crop into this into the sentiment. But the only thing you wanna make sure is that you're in the middle here between the two little um, grooves. And take it out and do the same thing. Which one am I on? Okay, I've done that before. I made one the one side and one the other. Okay, so my larger tag is done. Now for this one, I'm gonna use the, um, the skinny one again. And this time I'm just going to go right to the top. I'm not gonna go, you can see I'm going right to here. I'm not gonna have it hit the, the metal there. Because I just wanna make sure that it, I have plenty of room for my sentiment. And I'll do the same thing for this one. 
just right to the edge. And make sure that's in the middle. It doesn't look like it's in the middle. Because you, I mean, the slots are made for one inch, three quarter inch, or, um, or half an inch. But you can make it smaller. Just make sure that you're, um, that you're in the middle when you're doing that. All right, so I'm going to just adhere this to my larger one. And I always use my grid paper. Oopsie. This is a very small margin here. Okay. I probably should have made this a little bit uh, smaller, but it's okay because it'll just, it, it shows the border on the top and on the bottom. It doesn't show through too much. I made them the same size. I should have made this one a little smaller. And I don't want to go ahead now and do it and cut that off because then I definitely would be into the, um, into the, the wording. All right, no big deal. Okay, so before we put this on, we're going to use a little bit of ribbon to wrap. And um, this ribbon is from the, uh, it, it's in the catalog. It was on back order forever. And, um, but it's back now and it's good. And it's, um, this is, this ribbon, you maybe have seen me do it before, but it's um, perfect for using your blends and coloring this ribbon. And this, and it, co it comes out beautiful. It's easy to color. And um, you, you, you can coordinate with absolutely any, anything, any design that you have and any color that you have on your project that's going on. All right, so I'm gonna put that here. It doesn't matter where I put that. All right, so I'm going to, I may have to trim this a little bit, which is fine. So, and it, I like it also because it, um, it's called quarter inch whisper white um, crinkle ribbon, but it lays very nicely when you're, so it's not going to add any bulk to you, your postage if you're, if you're gonna be mailing this out. All right, and this is just gonna go anywhere you want. Keep it right on the side there. You could put a little glue dot underneath the knot if that makes you happy. And um, for this one, I think I'm gonna put some dimensionals under here to pop this up. It'll just give it a little bit more, um, oh, this is not, a little bit more dimension to it. It'll pop up a little bit because it is a little flat because like I said, it's, um, it's the, it's the cardstock. The, the thick cardstock is really the way to go for your bases. So I'm gonna put this right on top of my bow. I think I like that. Put it wherever you want, but okay, there we go. That is, see how quick and easy that was. So again, it was the Lovely You bundle with the, the stamp set with the um, pick a punch. It gives you a choice of six different um, measurements for your punches for your your tags your labels and these are the cards that you just some of them that you could make um using this punch okay thank you so much for joining me today for the um catalog kickoff featuring the lovely you stamp set and bundle uh be sure to come back and we'll check out another brand new bundle from the catalog thank you have a great day bye bye